I got it right here. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a bunch on him. So when he blows, so when he takes a V suit, they ain't gonna have no protection there no more. Yeah, you'll probably. Unless that other B company has one. Yes, sir. It looks like it. Yeah, dude. Back it up. Here, let me turn it in. Okay. All right, so I'm going to back this in. quick update of what I just went through because I wasn't able to film everything I wanted to. In the back of my truck here, I have about three big logs that are full of bees. Um, this is kind of a weird coincidence. A few days ago, I posted on a tree climber's Facebook page about how to learn more about cutting trees and being a tree climber and an arborist because that is some work that I've been interested in doing. And um, in that post, some people mentioned to me, hey, there's actually a tree climber competition that's gonna be in the town you live in like this weekend. So I was like, okay, great. And then the following day, a beekeeping uh, group actually posted that there were some bees down uh, in the area where I live, basically. And like, if anybody could go help out to please call them. Um, so I called them and it turns out it actually was a tree that they cut down to prepare for the tree climbers competition. And they ran into a huge beehive and uh, they needed help to get it picked up. So I went and just picked it up and I've got it in the back of my truck and I'm heading basically to go drop it off at my house now. Okay, so I went and picked up a bee tree today because some workers were cutting a tree and they cut it and uh, opened up a beehive and it was in the middle of a city park. So I volunteered to go and help them out. Um, I'm a tree worker myself, so I thought I'd help them out and they helped me load it into the back of the truck and I provided bee suits for everybody. So um, now I basically just need to get it out of the truck and kind of just like sat on a something, just like set it somewhere and let them reorient and just kind of be a natural hive out here. This is exhausting. This thing's pretty hollow and it's not extremely heavy, but it's pretty damn heavy for one person. Over here, what I've got is this log still has, this log still has like the colony in it. Whereas these two over here, they cut them for me, but it mainly was just like chunks of comb, a little bit of honey. So this is the main colony along with that one. We got, got 
this one right here. And the queen's in one of these. We got this one here. So one of them should hopefully make a new queen and then maybe I'll have both of these tree colonies. Today we're here at a uh, tree climbers competition uh, here in New Braunfels and uh, this is where I came and got that tree hive the other day because they were setting up for this huge event and they ran into a beehive up in one of these huge uh, cypress trees. So these are all the people that I basically kind of saved from having to deal with this because uh, it would not have been good if that, if that hive was still active. Once they took it out of the tree, they laid it out in the middle of the field over there and there were just bees everywhere so they probably wouldn't have been able to do this without uh, getting that out of here. So um, glad I was able to help and glad I was able to get a free hive of bees for these people. Hey bud, what's his name? Bob. Hey Bob, How can you, you can hear me. Can I get a response from you? All right, there's no responsiveness. Luis, will you call 911? Tell them there's a high angle aerial rescue. There's a certified arborist here trained in aerial rescue. First aid, CPR, AED certified. Uh, I'm going to go up and get them if they'd like me to go up and get them. EMS has been called. Let them know we're at Cypress Fifth Park on the southeast corner of the main pavilion. They can find it by the big old tree mech. Uh, looks like a transporter truck. Climber clear with the seat. Stay clear, climber sitting. Let's go. Get it. Oh, he's Oh, he's smooth. He's crushing it already, bro. Still a little bit there. 
All right, take it off the hard connect. Go he's check. Take it off the other two carabiners. Time. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go, Miguel. Just the Kelvin factor from one to two. Okay, so here it is the following day. This is how my, my new bee tree looks. They're doing their thing coming and going here. I've got the top covered up. And then uh, this log down here, they're still doing their thing coming and going out of this one. And there's kind of bees on each end, but they seem to be doing just fine. So it has been one week since I got this hive brought over here to my house. And basically this is no longer a colony. This is just now an empty hive because the main colony is actually in that log, which I was kind of waiting to happen, waiting to have happen. It seems like anybody that's in here is just kind of like stealing whatever honey might've been available in there. So this is not a colony, but I might be able to add bees to this in the future. Um, I have a couple pieces of log that uh, just had comb in it. So I was just letting them kind of clean it out, letting, letting my bees clean that out. But as far as what the active colony is that I have, as I have this right here, and this is the uh, this is the remaining of that tree hive, and so they're just in there rebuilding whatever it is they need to rebuild, and otherwise they're pretty much just acting like a normal colony. This is their main entrance, but then I did staple on these uh, pieces of plywood on the end when I brought them, and over here, what's happening is they're actually sealing it up. They're trying to close that gap with propolis or bee glue, some might call it, but um, <clears throat> the bees are in there working on 
making that gap no longer accessible. There's still kind of some bees coming and going, but for the most part, they're just filling that gap with gunk to where it's plugged up. And then that will be their only entrance and exit. There is a little bit of a gap on this side and there are bees down in there hanging out, but they don't seem to be worried about plugging up this side, probably because it's already pretty plugged up right there anyway. Um, but yeah, they're doing good. They're bringing in pollen from my area. They've got a couple little entrance holes. So that bee right there has pollen on its legs. So they're bringing pollen in from my area, which means they're established here and this is now their new home and we're good to go. Mm -hmm.